Good afternoon. It's in the 20s, but it doesn't feel that bad, I think, because the wind's not out. And uh, it seems to me that the same stories repeat themselves, but often with distinctions that make things worse. For example, we all want to keep out of the hospital, but we see wherever we go, people without masks, particularly men, because they're never going to get it. And uh, we have people who have gotten double vaxxed but refuse the booster. And the booster has shown dramatically that it reduces what pain and illness you have if you get the virus. So people are not doing that. They're not getting the booster. Uh, they're tired of actually protecting and defending themselves and strangers, including you and I. And how many people is that? 86 million people. That's what we're talking about. And it doesn't help that a federal judge in Texas has blocked the program by Biden to mandate that people take certain steps, including being vaccinated and or uh, taking a test to know that they're not infected. Uh, you have to say to yourselves, how can you blame Biden for failing <laughs> to eliminate a series of infections that are permitted by the lax regimen politicians on the right particularly in the republican party and across this land and people at fox are telling people nah you don't have to do that and there was a a, a story i put up about a czech woman an, an actress and uh, her husband and child got sick and she said ah, i'm going to take it too said, bring it on well she's dead and, you know, uh, it's a question of the dumb and the senseless, I guess, that we have people out there who are not taking precautions. And the last note I have, if my battery doesn't run out <laughs> in this cold weather, is that Rudy Giuliani uh, appears to be, of course, in the middle of, uh, of things. And the search of his home, which was assigned to a special master, she's finished her work finally and given over that material that she says is not privileged. Now, Barbara Jones, I know from many years ago when I was in the U.S. Attorney's Office, and I think it's unfortunate that she served from, I think it was 83 to 87 when Rudy was the U.S. Attorney, so she was his subordinate. And it doesn't look good, and I know everybody can say, oh, it's so many years and all those things, but, you know, it has to be beyond reproach. So I've finished this, I think, without the battery failing me, despite the temperature. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow in my barren cathedral of trees and less uh, ice to fall on. All the best. Bye-bye.